We're joined this morning by Mark uh, Hoplamazian, who's the president and CEO of Hyatt Hotels, and he's been touring across the Asia bag, and he joins us here in our Hong Kong studios this morning. Uh, Mark, good to have you. Um, let's first talk, before we get into these new concepts of Hyatt House, Hyatt Place, can I talk to you about the business in the Asia pack? Because we have slowing growth, right, in the U.S. and Europe. Have you seen that affected in your bottom line just yet? Well, actually, um, the hospitality industry in general has lagged to the general economy, so the uh, current results have, have uh, continued to be um, across the industry. If you look at industry statistics, have currently continued to be relatively healthy, even as forward economic indicators are declining. So, uh, it's not shown up in. Um, in what you see in industry statistics so far. Okay, but Europe, Africa, Middle East, and Asia Pac grew slightly in the second quarter of 2011 over the same quarter last year. How about looking ahead yeah. for the rest of this year? How how are these, uh, I guess, load rates right now, occupancy rates? Yeah, if you, if you look across the world, demand has actually been relatively healthy. Uh, so if you look at industry statistics or, or market statistics, uh, business travel has continued to be relatively healthy That's very and, interesting. Uh, and leisure travel as well. Uh, it's, it's not at the same level of vibrancy in every market around the world, right. but generally speaking, demand has been uh, incre Where increasing. Where are the vibrant markets then? Well, actually, the Middle East has begun to recover this year. Uh -huh. um, After it, the, uh, of course, the episodes we saw? Yes, I think in particular the Gulf protests. region has really uh, started to um, find its uh, sea legs again. Mm -hmm. and. Um, and, and actually, the growth in, in India and China has also been uh, relatively healthy. Mm -hmm. um, and, and because we're coming off of a very uh, relatively weak period of time in 2009 and 2010, yeah. the, there has been a continued evolution of occupancy in most markets. Yeah, what about Japan? I found that interesting, uh, especially after the earthquake. Uh, what yeah. about occupancy levels? Has, has it come back? Yeah. Japan went through a, a couple of different mini cycles, so to speak, because immediately after um, the Fukushima incident, there, there was some expansion of occupancy because oh, really? because there were a lot of people who were sending people to Japan for assistance and companies that were actually um, making sure that they were taking care of what they needed to for their people in Japan. Um, and then uh, there was a hiatus, um, and um, so we'll see how this, this evolves over yeah, time. But, but would you say that levels are back to where they were pre-earthquake or not just quite yet? Uh, no, I think across the market they're not back. They're not back uh, Not yet. back yet. Okay. Well, you know, so maybe time will heal all right. as it did with uh, Bali. Now, Bali is a pretty good market, especially for rev party, the revenue that you earn per uh, room rate. Uh, yes. Okay. So tell me about the Asia Pacific. China's a good place, a good market right. right now for you, and India. And that's why you're choosing to launch Hyatt House and Hyatt Place. Now, right. tell me about these concepts before we actually get into why you chose China in the first right. place. Well, we're very excited about launching them. With the launch of Hyatt House and Hyatt Place, we will have all of our hotel brands represented in China, which is... Uh, important for us because we're trying to serve various segments mm -hmm. within the Chinese market. So Hyatt House is like a long stay sort yes, of Yes, more designed venue. for for longer stay business guests but also families. Huh. Very suited to families who are traveling who could benefit from having a kitchen in their room and also spaces that make it feel, feel more like home. Right. Um, we have a long history of operating in China but we really are very excited about these two brands because we feel like it, they will provide us with a, a great opportunity to serve a much bigger customer Now, base. Hyatt Place is also for business travelers, yes. but you don't have the spa. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> much more limited in services. That's so, what I focus on. So, but yeah, uh, no, no spa. We will have uh, much more limited meeting space, so uh -huh. you won't see significant ballrooms and specialty restaurants. Uh -huh. But the same high-quality Hyatt uh, hospitality, of course, right. with a very, very good, uh, comfortable room and public spaces for designed for business travelers. And all of them in Shanghai. Well, the three that we are announcing today are in Shanghai, but we have many different uh, markets around China, more than 50 that we think are suited to Hyatt House and Hyatt Place okay. expansion. So this is only phase one then, Mark. Phase one. Okay, good to see you. Thanks for dropping Thank by today. Much, That's uh, Marka Hoplamazian, uh, CEO of Hyatt Hotels.